What's up, pandas? Peter from Panda here. I just wanted to bust out my Mont Blanc Starwalker again. I showed you this in, in detail in another video uh, because I just picked up this other pen called a Bore, um, and it's clearly a copy of the Starwalker. I wouldn't call it a replica because there's nothing on it that explicitly tries to impersonate the Mont Blanc, um, but it's clearly a ripoff of the style. So. Unlike a fake Louis Vuitton purse or something like that, uh, this is kind of this pen is kind of treading in that water of counterfeit. But I don't know that it crosses um, the line. Although I certainly think Mont Blanc would have a legal case of pursuing kind of their intellectual property in the design. So first of all, I showed you this Mont Blanc. It's really known for this <clears throat> acrylic or uh, uh, clear cap with the Mont Blanc logo that floats in it. And here on this um, bore pen, which I think is Chinese made, uh, it has a similar acrylic top. It's not exactly the same, but there is no floating uh, logo in it of any sort. So, you know, usually sometimes uh, these companies that are trying to imitate a famous company will make a logo that looks very similar. Well, you know, a lot of Chinese car companies tend to do that, but in this case, I didn't even bother. One reason is because I think it's actually fairly hard to get uh, those logos into acrylic. You either have to do them, in, you kind of have to make them in multiple pieces or, um, you know, uh, kind of laser etch them inside. But either way, uh, it's no big deal. Size-wise, they're very similar and they kind of have this black acrylic uh, finish. But as you can see, the, uh, the first thing I'll point out here is that the <clears throat> metal fittings are slightly different colors. So on the Mont Blanc, it's kind of this gunmetal, darkened, uh, black chrome type of finish. On the uh, copy, there's they're just silver. They don't, they don't go to any length to put any type of tint, and that is reflected all the way to the clip to the top. The uh, clips are actually very very similar. So uh, what I was actually surprised is how much detail they have in here to make them. They've got the little the, the, the silhouettes are basically the same uh, shape, width, and uh, kind of that uh, Coke bottle shape. Uh, that even has this little uh, raised edge here at the top, the little ridge there. The uh, collar up at the top is obviously different widths, and I think this is just kind of uh, a matter of them being able to manufacture whatever they have lying around. Uh, like I said, there's nothing on this collar that says a brand name, so they're not trying to represent this as a Mont Blanc uh, like the, the official pen has. They are both a screw off uh, cap. So the, uh, the finish and the metal on underneath is the same gun metal. And again, this pen as well is a screw off, which was actually a pretty nice feature. You can see as I put them side by side here that they have a little bit different threshold down by the nib. So the Mont Blanc has this textured um, uh, collar right here where you can grab. It's very comfortable. It's got a nice uh, thick feel to it. And it's, again, it's also gunmetal. And then it gets to this fine liner uh, refill piece here. On the bore, or whatever, however you pronounce it, this collar is <clears throat> recessed a little bit. And it's actually arguably very comfortable. It's smooth, so it's a little more slippery. And it's a little weird to me because this this piece here actually has a little bit of that darkened gunmetal finish if they had actually done carry that over to the rest of the metal pieces this would look a lot more um like the mont blanc it's uh this one is actually just a uh ballpoint refill and i have not actually opened this up yet so i'm going to do this as we speak here i'm going to open up this and see what the the refill looks like in this one i'll open up here in the mont blanc and I've actually, um, in my office, we have a lot of um, people that use the same exact pen. So I tag my refill here a little bit with my name. And it looks like the, it looks like the refills are very similar, but they're not. I, and so it, it would not appear that you can use the standard Mont Blanc refill to refill this uh, pen, but I might be wrong. The difference, the real difference here is this little extension, this plastic cap on the end. So I'd have to see if you could, I'm gonna throw in the official here. 
first thing I can tell you is that I threw the official Mont Blanc refill into the uh, to the copy cap here, and it won't even go all the way to the bottom, so it won't seat. So um, clearly, you need to find this this refill, which might be, which I think is probably it looks like a pretty standard refill. So I'm sure you could find one. Actually, you could probably just grab a, a general plastic pen and um, find the refill that that works in it. But I think the this is kind of an example of what um, you know what you pay for is in the details on these types of pens. So, you know, the, the the price difference between these are about, you know, $350 retail. And you do get a pretty nice pen. Granted, the design is completely lifted from Mont Blanc, but you can tell that uh, the quality is much higher on the Mont Blanc. So they have a very similar weight. I would say this one is just a little bit lighter. And, you know, the fit and finish is you know, there's a little bit of a ridge. You know, I can run my fingernail from the collar to the body, and you can see that there's a little bit of, um, you know, things aren't really flush. Uh, you know, this piece here is a little rough. You know, this uh, transitioner where these two pieces are pressed in. Um, you know, the <clears throat> unscrewing this from the collar on the pen is actually pretty smooth. I'm pretty impressed with that. And then it also has um, a screw... Uh, a screw down um, setting here which is actually pretty nice so they did a nice job of copying again you know I can't endorse a copy like this but uh, for I don't know about 10 bucks or whatever this pen was you get a lot of that style however you have pretty much no complaints when you get the original I mean it's just a beautiful pen the gunmetal finish is kind of a a, a small detail it's this whole this whole um, uh, the threaded portion here is looks like to be one single metal piece. Not only is it polished on one side, but it's sandblasted on kind of the alternating bands. You know, it just shows a level of craftsmanship, design, and work that the other pen does not allow uh, or or include. Again, very very similar. There's just a little bit of difference between the length of the cap, the length of the tip here, but obviously it's meant to look like the Star Walker. So I just wanted to throw that out. I, I can tell after having played with both these pens, um, who's, you know, if you were to have one of these pens and write with it at a glance, probably no one would be able to tell, but I can tell from, you know, probably 10 feet away, which is which is the real one and which isn't uh, based on that. So Peter Von Panda, just checking out the differences between a very nice Mont Blanc Star Walker writing implement and a cheap copy that does work. Panda out.